Let's now move to a slightly more difficult example. A red car and a blue van, initially 5 kilometers apart, start moving towards each other at 12 meters per second and 8 meters per second respectively. The blue van sets off one minute after the red car. Where and when are they going to meet? You might want to pause the video and try to find out the answer yourself. And the answer is... The cars meet after 274 seconds, measured from the moment when the first car sets off, and 3288 meters away from the initial position of the red car. For reference, let's write down again the general equation of motion for uniform motions. x equals x0 plus v multiplied by t minus t0. For the red car, t0 can be taken 0. As the car moves at 12 meters per second in the positive direction of the axis, its equation of motion can be written as x equals 12t. The blue van sets off one minute later, and thus t0 equals 60 seconds. As the van moves in the negative direction of the axis at 8 meters per second, v is minus 8. In addition, since the van sets off 5000 meters away from the origin of our x-axis, x0 is 5000. The equation of motion of the blue van is then x equals 5000 minus 8 multiplied by t minus 60. In order to find out when and where the two vehicles meet, we put a condition that the x-coordinate of the car is equal to the x-coordinate of the van. From here, we can find the specific value of t, let's label it t prime, for which the condition is met. The results are as follows. t prime equals 274 seconds, and from here we can easily find for x prime a value of 3288 meters. Let's now recap the main points in today's podcast. Equations of motion are mathematical formulae describing how position, velocity or acceleration changes in time. In the specific case of a uniform motion, the equation of motion that gives us the position of the moving body is x equals x0 plus v multiplied by t minus t0. The velocity is a constant and there is no acceleration. In kinematics problems, in order to find out where and when two moving bodies meet, one can use their equations of motion and put the condition that the two bodies are at the same position at the same moment in time. That's all for today. If you have any suggestions or comments, you can send your messages at the email shown on the screen. See you next time.